Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you rendering presets in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and I want to render a final mix. So I'll go up here to the file menu and choose render. Or we can use the keyboard shortcuts on PC. It's all control R and a Mac. It's option command R. And that opens up the render dialog. Now I should mention, I've already made a bunch of rendering videos that you can check out on this channel or on the Reaper video page. But in this video, we're gonna focus on the presets right up here. But let's go through this dialog just briefly. Right over here, we could choose the source, a master mix, creating stems, master mix and stems, creating stems through the master fader, creating files based on regions or media items or media items through the master fader. Then over here, we could choose the bounds, which is where we're going to start and end our render. We could do the entire project, a custom time range that we type in right here, or we could choose a time selection to define our bounds, project regions, or selected regions. Then we could choose the output, which is where our file is going to render to on our hard drive. We could type in the directory here or browse for it right here. Then we could type in the name of the final file or just use wildcards like the project name, the track name, or regions or tempo, which are going to change based on different variables in our project. And over here, we'll see the final path of our render, where it's going to be on our hard drive, along with the final name of the render. Then we can choose the options, like our sample rate, our channels, stereo, mono, or multi channel, or how fast we're going to render full speed offline, real time offline, or real time online, where we could hear the render as it's happening. And we could also dither or noise shape, or we have metadata to the render. Then down over here, we could choose the output or the format. We could choose WAV, AF, MP3, or a whole bunch of other formats. And we could also render a second format at the same time with all the same options based on one render. But the purpose of this video is to talk about the presets. So if we're happy with how we set up this dialog, we could save it all for future use. We could save all the settings, save preset, and let's name it master mix wave 24 bit. And if we change everything in this dialog, let's switch this based on regions, change the name to different wildcards like project and region, change the sample rate to 48, make it mono, online render, change this to the highest quality, add metadata in these two options. Let's change this to AF. And add a secondary format for MP3. So now with all this changed, and we want to go back to the save preset, we can recall that setting, all settings, master mix, wave 24 bit, and our settings go back to the way we saved it before. Our master mix, entire project, the file name, the sample rate, stereo, and a wave file. So all that was saved with our preset. But we could also save presets based on different sections. So let's say we just want to save and recall the options and the format. We can go to our presets under options and format, save preset, and we could save it as a 44 kilohertz stereo file wave. Now that's just saved for the options and the format, not the bounds and output. So if we change it up again,
and we render it like this. But now we want to recall our options and format from before, but not changing our bounds and output. We just go to our presets under options and format and recall it here. And it changes it back to the way we set it before without changing the bounds and output. It just changed our options and our format. And we can do the same thing with our bounds and output. Let's recall the all settings again. It puts it all back. And now it's save our bounds and output right here. We'll name this master mix full project. And now if we change it up again to create a different render, like this, we could just recall the bounds and output from before without changing our options and our format. Just recall it right here, bounds and output, master mix, full project, and it just changes our bounds and output while leaving our options or format alone. It makes it more useful to separate those different options. But keep in mind, we could always save it all right here, all settings. And then it recalls everything in this dialog. And everything we save in our presets is going to be saved with the ability to be recalled in any project on our computer. So it's a good idea to use them if you do similar renders from project to project. So that's pretty much it. That's rendering presets in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!